This is YouTube exam practice 12 at 60 words per minute and the title of the passage is Browsing in Second-Hand Bookshops. At 60, there will be two minutes dictation followed by a 30-second interval followed by a further two minutes dictation and the transcription time is a maximum of 26 minutes. Included with this passage is a sheet showing the word groupings and the words which will give revision of theory. First of all, the words. Looking at affordable has that disjoined A at the end of the word giving the able or the ability. Authors, third one down, gives the long T for THR. Browsing uses the BR blend, so when BR comes together, the next consonant, in this case the W, goes inside. Charity, written with the disjoined R for Ritty, or of course the conventional way, I've shown both. Consistency, where you've got an S, vowel S, in the middle of a word, you can't join the two S's together without the help of an indicator. I call this the swish, swash, swish, backwards, forwards, backwards, and it's a lovely outline to write once you have got the hang of it. Emerge uses the double length M, M doubles to add R. Enjoyment has the word ending meant, a smaller length M on the T line to make meant. Words like entirely don't need the N, so vowel N. T or vowel ND do not need the N, so entirely has been written without it and also we've kicked the L out of it. Everything, just an E for every and an ING for thing. Greatest with the GR blend where GR comes together, the next consonant goes inside, in this case the T, and then add a final ST to make greatest. GR blend again for growth. Interesting and industry, same principle as entirely above. Vowel NT, vowel ND do not need the N. Niche, N and C don't look good together, but there are very few words that have N and the C is immediately followed. Ranging can be written as ranging, or if you prefer, can include the N, so ranging. Recently is a special outline. Relaxation has the final shun. The vowel, A in this case, can be written before it or it can be omitted. Royalties, the Y sound in the middle of royalties because it's not silent in words like toy, boy, enjoy. If you remember, if the lips come forward, we write the Y. Sections has the shun disjoined. Stumble, that's an interesting one. So you write the M, just the big circle for B, so it's natural for that L to go upwards following the motion of the curve and the big circle for B. Treasure and threatened. TR blend is also THR blend. In treasure, S goes outside the angle. In threatened, following the THR, the next T goes high, the N is blended in, and then the final D. Unpredictable, you can disjoin the U for un. PR comes together, so we remember our friend Preston. So the D goes through to indicate that the PR is together without an intervening vowel. Then CT, and again that able that we had at the beginning of this sheet with affordable. Volumes, you could start with the V on the line, but in this case I've put the L on the line, either is correct. And finally, wonder, turning that N in, W-N, turning it in, but not curling it in, so that the D, doubled for R, can be straight. 
and now the word groupings. <clears throat> These are in alphabetical order so that you can find them later. They are not in the order in which they come into the passage. So let's start with at one time. So we're using the figure one there and in this case it's not necessary to circle the one because it's part of the grouping. But I have included next to it at any time so that you can see how important it is that the one looks like a one and is upright. Otherwise it would look like at any time which is an at, an a for any and the m underneath for time. Moving on to better than, I've included more than and often than, where we raise the N for the word than. Can expect, if you just slope the CN blend for can slightly so that the P can cross it to make the XP, which is the special outline for expect, we've got that word grouping can expect. And then if you add the S outside the angle and the V so that you've got a sieve, you've got can expect to receive, missing out the word to altogether, as we do in word groupings. It is possible to recognise them without the very minor words. Next, for the first time, we've used that one again for first. Great deal, where the T of great also works as the D of deal. I can think, we write, I can ink. Is that it is? That's a great little phrase. Is that it is? Keep practising it so that you can write it with speed. It has been. And then the intersection of PL for people in phrases like many people, some people. More likely, we kick the L out of likely both at the beginning and at the end. So more and then K-I. More or less. After the M, the L goes upwards. So we miss out the tiny word again. We miss out the OR and we write more or less. Nine or ten, two or three. Once you've written the first figure, keep the pen on. Write an R for OR and then the other letter without lifting the pen. So you could practice this for nine or ten, two or three, three or four, four or five, etc. A lovely phrase here is second hand. Now we're writing the H for hand, but we're sloping it the way the A goes. Second hand. And I've also included there something that's not in the passage, but which shows how we also use it in on the other hand. So just an O for on, just an O for other, and then that sloped H for hand. So it's sloping because the A follows H in hand. Next one, short time. The T of short is also doing the work of the T of time. And we could have just disjoined the M underneath it, but it's just as quick to keep the pen on and to put the I indicator in. There is no doubt, one of my favourite phrases, there is no doubt, making that THR blend, S inside the curve of the N, I always put the O in, in the word no or not, but it isn't totally necessary. You are looking, another kicking the L out of looking, you are K-ing for you are looking. The sense of the sentence will tell you what it is. And finally, the simple little phrase, you will, and the way we extend it here for, you will be able to. Another dictation. Ready. Many people find relaxation in browsing. A great deal of enjoyment can be found in just browsing, not knowing what you are looking for. Some people browse at car boot sales. Some people love to wander round antique fairs. For me, 
I can think of nothing better than browsing in second-hand bookshops. While it is more or less a given what books will be found in a new bookshop, one of the greatest joys of going into a second-hand bookshop is that it is entirely unpredictable what you will find. Often the browser will leave with nothing but more often than not they will emerge after only a short time with nine or ten interesting volumes. Second half. Ready? Recently, it has been announced that for the first time, authors can expect to receive royalties from the second-hand sale of their books. At one time, you could be sure to find a second-hand bookshop in every town and city. Now, the industry is threatened by the growth of charity bookshop trade. There is no doubt that browsing round a second-hand bookshop is a great joy. Stock can be of a consistently high and interesting level, ranging from everything, from affordable paperbacks to scarce first editions. Some shops divide stock into niche sections of interest, making it all the more likely you will be able to stumble across a volume you will love and treasure.